Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and today I'm going to show you how to make videos from articles. This is really handy if you are a content creator or if you run a blog or for whatever reason you need to make a video, sometimes you can get stuck writing scripts or thinking of something, thinking of a topic for your video. So this is a really easy way where we can go and find blog posts or a blog post that you've made and we can use this uh, really cool tool that I've been using for a couple of months called Pictory, which is an online video editor. And I really love this because this has really streamlined the way that I make content for certain uh, things that I do. So uh, if you want to see how to do that, stick around and I'll show you right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you have a Pictory account and you've logged in. You can get a free seven day trial where you've unlocked everything to use. Then if you want to get a discount, I also have a discount code, which I'll leave probably in the pinned comment or something for you. You'll get 20% off if you decide to ever go ahead uh, and use this on an ongoing basis. So let's say I wanted to make a short video. Um, I'm in the music production niche, but this will work for any niche. I've got a um, blog uh, here. I'm just going to use uh, some of this as in inspiration. So I've grabbed the URL of this blog post and I can simply pop it into the article to video and proceed. And now basically what it's going to do is it's going to give me a first page where it builds a sort of, we, we tell it which parts it wants to use. And then in the second part, we can do the fine tune editing where we're going to select the visuals and things like that. So here we're going to select which parts of the blog post we're going to use. And it's going to build these into a set of scenes. So it's simply, um, I'm just going to, it's already grabbed the title for me. So I'm just going to get the top three. I'm going to deselect this by hitting this little X here. And then I'm going to just select the first little bit here of each one of these. We can then choose a square like for Instagram portrait for TikTok or Instagram reels uh, and landscape for YouTube or any of the normal landscape style uh, videos. So basically it has drawn uh, images from the blog post and then it'll also pop in. Um, it's got like a big library of video that if we look over here, it grabs them from story blocks. So it sort of gives you and you can change all of these. So I'm just going to this might be a one or two minute video that I'll create here. So let's say I can just edit this a little bit. These are my favorite three VST plugins that you can get for free. The second CM sort of is called I'm putting my own words into here and you can rewrite some of these. So we're not really like plagiarizing their blog post. We will rewrite some of these sentences in our own language. Um, and finally we have and then so these are each of the scenes and then um, I can add a scene at the end here. Let's add one with text and visuals. And for the final scene, I'll say if you would like to try to download these VST plugins for yourself, I will leave the link in a link in the description. And then I have to pick a visual. It'll it'll choose a visual for this last one. Um, and then what I usually do is I go through each scene and it says these are my favorite three VST plugins you can get for free. And I like to go to settings and I like to select visual zoom and pan so that it takes up the whole screen and it kind of moves a little bit. We'll see the final result of this video in a second. The first one is called Synth 1, guy playing a synth, that's fine. This virtual analog synth was inspired by the Clavier Nord 2. Yep, so this is all looking good. The second one is called Dext. So maybe we want to go to visuals over here 
and find um, a photo of Dext or I can search for one. So Dext synth, I can actually get my own from Google Images. So I, I use this VST plugin and I know what it looks like. So let's grab this image. I'm going to save that. Now what we do is we go instead of their visuals that they've chosen, we go to my uploads and we can just drag that uh, image in. So you can add your own images. Then I'm going to do the same here with the uh, zoom and pan. Now what it will do is it will automatically add music as well. So I'm just actually going to select apply to all and uh, turn the music off because I'm going to pop my own music on there. But um, they do have all this royalty free music that won't trigger any copyright on YouTube. So you can go over to audio and you can select all the different music here. And I also like to go to the audio settings right here. And especially if I'm talking on a video, um, I like to have the music at about 10% or 15% in the background. So let's just quickly go through here. So this is a motorbike. This is nothing to do with what we're talking about. So I'm going to go back over to the visuals, see if I can find something a little bit cooler. There's a guy playing a synth, a MIDI keyboard. That's great. And for some reason, we've got a karate guy here. So let's change that to that. And then Helix, let's see, let's actually go over to the blog post and just grab this picture of Helix. That would be a good idea. I should have done that for the first one. I'm going to upload that and change that. I'll quickly go through and fix uh, all of these final visuals. So one thing that's really cool that Pictory does um, that I have i don't use on this channel, but I have used on a few other channels that I do some affiliate marketing is you can actually get this to make a voiceover. If we go to the audio tab and select voiceover, we can select uh, all of these high quality voices here so we can hear what they sound like. Welcome to Pictory. So you can grab a female or a male voice. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown. So if we click apply, then we can actually preview what this slide is going to look like with that voiceover as well. Plugin for yourself. I will leave a link in the description. So, I mean, we all see these these sort of AI generated videos um, from time to time pop up on our YouTube. So I've found that I kind of get annoyed and I switch off. I don't really listen to the ones with AI voices. So the to get the most out of this tool, I make these videos like this um, and then I download them with the images and text. And then I just do my own voiceover with my microphone here. Um, and then I grab some of my own stock music or music from the YouTube music library. Um, and then basically do a quick edit. And then I've got a piece of content where I don't have to appear in the video with my face. Um, but it's got my voice on it. It looks very professional. So when we're ready to uh, finish this up, we just go to generate and select video. And then it usually takes a couple of minutes, depending on the length of that video to generate it. And then we'll be able to have a look at what our final product is. These are my favorite three VST plugins that you can get for free. The first is called Synth One. What it does, this virtual analog synth was inspired by the Clavia Nor Lead 2 synthesizer. It's one of the most versatile free soft. So you can see there that um, it's quite an effective way of creating content. I have heard reports that you will have a little bit of trouble getting your YouTube channel monetized if all of your videos have AI voices on them. So if you really want to be a bit more serious about your content, it doesn't really take that long to just redo the voice in the video editor or, or whatever. Just record your voiceover. All I do is I go along, read each of these, pop, you know, edit my voice over it and my own music, and then you get a really professional result. I even use some of these videos and I pop my face in the corner with a green screen. So it's a really, you know, it's a real breakthrough in how easily and quickly you can make content. So make sure if you want to get the free trial, uh, click the link that we've got in the description for Pictory. If you found this content valuable, make sure you do subscribe to our channel so you get all the latest in music video production and tech trends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.